Let's take a look at some key pieces of equipment to help you take your full body VTuber setup wireless. Here's a list of everything you will need. A 3D model that is an original character design in a VRM format. This is the character you will use to represent your VTuber. Vive Streaming Hub, which is a program that allows you to connect the HTC Vive equipment to your PC without the need for a cable. Next is a Vive XR Elite headset. This is for head movement and tracking. And of course, three Vive Ultimate trackers, and if you want more, you can get additional tracking having up to five trackers. One for each ankle and one for your hip to achieve full body tracking. And if you have five total, you can use the extra two for your elbows or your knees. You will need the free software Virtual Motion Capture, which connects your equipment to your 3D VTuber model itself. And last, another free program called OBS Studio for live streaming or recording. The first step you'll take is creating your VTuber. VTubers come in many shapes and sizes from 2D VTubing to 3D VTubing and even a fun term known as PNG tubing. We're gonna be taking a 3D VTuber model route and using the power of virtual reality hardware to bring your VTuber to life. A great free and easy to use software is VRID Studio, a fantastic beginner-friendly character builder for 3D models. If you've ever played any kind of dress-up game, it's really similar to that. I like to use Pinterest as ideas for what my character might look like. Make sure to mix and match inspiration to create your own original design. After making a character, you can export your model as a VRM file by clicking on this button here in VRED Studio, filling out the required information which has a red star next to it, and then saving it somewhere you'll remember. Next, you'll want to download the program called Virtual Motion Capture by the creator sh underscore Akira. This software is the key piece that connects your model to your VR equipment or hardware. And next, you'll want to use the Vive XR Elite as well as three Ultimate Trackers. Again, you could use up to five. In fact, we have a great deal going on during the months that this video came out, and if you're arriving at this video at another time, we still may have some type of deal going on, so make sure to stay up to date and check out our website. You'll be able to find that info in the pinned comments. You can use other standalone headsets like the Quest 2 and 3, that connect to your PC with virtual motion capture, as well as our Vive Ultimate trackers. However, the Vive XR Elite is going to have a more seamless experience connecting with its partner Vive products. You'll first connect your Vive XR Elite and your Ultimate trackers, and then connect the XRE to the streaming hub. Once that's all connected, you'll import your VRM model into virtual motion capture and go through the settings to link your headset and trackers to your model. After that, you can change your background to green screen and launch OBS Studio. Setting up OBS Studio with a game capture source and a chroma key filter will allow your VTuber model to sit on top of your computer screen. This is a great way to have full body tracking wirelessly for your VTuber while live streaming or recording videos. It's fun because the end result will look something like this, where you can show off your content while being in a full body version of your character and walk around while talking to your chat or making your video. If you want a deeper breakdown or step-by-step -step tutorial, make sure to check out this video next.